Cartoon Cartoons. There's one small step for a squirrel, one giant leap for a kind. So anyways, we have introduced these two new characters. Hi, I'm Bola from Zola Patrol. Ooh. So today, we are going to take a look at Annoying Orange Alien Invasion. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Action. Wow, look at that sky. It is beautiful. Hey, check it out, Orange. There's Cassiopeia. Hey, one... hey, Onion. What? No, no, it's, it's Nick. Look there, it's Onion. Hey, hey, Onion, hey. Mm. Dude, that's not an I onion. know that fella. Onion's you know the big moon is coming your Ooh, way, it's an anyways. Onion. It's. It... What the? Whoa. Still got the alien called? coming yeah. your way. Wait a second, Orange. That's not a star. Ooh, a light show. My God. Close encounters of the annoying kind. Whoa, what the? Where are we? Ooh, very ah, creepy. Gorgeous. What was that? It's broccoli. Welcome to space, Earthlings. Space? Hey, hey, broccoli. Quiet. Jeez, I don't like this guy's altitude. Mm, <laughs> that's definitely Later off the hooks. The beaver? Is Justin Bieber here? Yay! What? No, I said later. Take me to your Bieber. <laughs> so definitely you brought me on All right, minions. Show me the money! <laughs> Broccoli Bieber. Hey, you must be the Bieber. Sing, baby. Sing it. Do it now. Hold on there a second, my little fruit basket. Hey, look, pear. I've got the Bieber hmm. Bieber. Still definitely <laughs> like this one. Right. I like you know, that. Orange, you're acting glib right now. Hey, Ooh, that's that. still out of this world. This time, I, I, think what I can't even ask, worry about that nun, too. Why are you here? You want the truth? Yeah. You can't handle the truth. Truth of the matter is, you are about to get the ride of your life. <laughs> Science! Bring in the Viva Sector 9000! I know that big fella. Still a lot of time to go this time. Whoa, it's a giant bedazzler! No, it's not a bedazzler. Ooh, bedazzle my jacket! Bedazzle my jacket! What the? It needs more rhinestones. Mm. <laughs> no! This Pretty machine is much for like broccoli. You see, Orange, we are traveling across the universe, studying the most intelligent life forms we can find. Um, I think you might have the wrong guy. Yeah, Pear's not the brightest hmm. guy in the world. There's no yeah. need to worry Science. about that, too. It's time to see what you two are really made of. Vivis That's Sector 9000. Weirdo. Target the intelligent life and fire at will. <laughs> hey, Pear, look what I can do. <laughs> Unintelligent. <laughs> this joint the target still definitely broccoli. Ship had cruise control. <laughs> that definitely got destroyed. No more. No more. Annoying oranges. Oh, 
dumb. You like that one. What did you put in the man, new leader? Ooh, I know what we can do. Oh boy, here we go. Well, everyone liked in this one, this one too. Yay! Now I'm a big star too. <laughs> Dude, you have a facial a face. Shut up, pear. I think I almost got it. What's going on? Orange is trying to learn how to whistle. I'm rooting against him. As am I. Can you imagine how he'll turn the That sounds really intelligent for that tour time. Oh. Wow. That's that really weird. insane. Is that what whistling's supposed to sound like? I couldn't believe my ears! <laughs> Get it? Horn ears? Yes, yes, we're all laughing super hard about it, Orange. I guess it's really reading <laughs> this time. More importantly, why are you glowing green, dude? Look, I know this is gonna sound crazy. Did somebody say I know this is gonna sound crazy? Oh, great. You summon Lou. Go oh, on. Oh, definitely a cockroach. Someone was about to say something was supposedly crazy. I was trying to do air quotes there, but I don't have fingers. Oh, Imagine I did. I know this fellow's gonna like work. this one. Crazy. Now please. Come on, Uncle oh, Pat. Well, I know that. Knock down corn stalks mm, out that's easy, easy, fella. Me and my friends, well, we Show me what you got, big fella. Stars. Oh, like say from aliens? Oh, did someone say aliens? Great. And now we've summoned Crackpot. Whoa, what's up, Lou? How you been, man? I haven't seen you since the convention about how the moon is like a host. Still like um, it. I think you mean the moon landing? Um, no, I mean the moon. Think about it, sheeple. How does it stay up in the air like that? Wires, that's how. The same wires the government uses to tap our phones and our toilets. Oh, good lord. I don't know if I can handle two of them. Whoops, well, still got spoiled this time. Well, I feel sorry for you. You really like this. You ain't nothing but a sheep. Bah, for me, sheep. Bah. Bah. Orange, why are you barring? I don't know. Seems fun. I think I'll go do literally anything else than have a conversation with these two nussos. No, That's definitely it. not go those Run this away from time. Trees. Secret societies control Ooh. the world. Aw, oh, come on, fruits. This affects all of us. Tupac is there still must very be much be alive. Oh, how long is for somebody to love me? What? Hmm? But you just said... But, no, hmm, I pretty much like this time. Crossings. Let's see photos. Hmm. Notice the concentric circles here on the edge. You thinking what I'm thinking? Sure am. These aliens are definitely from the Sculptor galaxy. What do you think, Corn? Is there even a kernel of truth to their theories? <laughs> hey guys, what's all the yelling about? Wait, why do you reek of corn? Hey, we don't reek, jerk. Oh man, this is gonna sound crazy, but go, go on. on. Well, I got lost in a cornfield in my monster truck last night. Oh man, it took me like. Well, well, this is certainly devastating to our theory. It disproves nothing. Look how he's glowing green, for instance. Oh, am I? Oh, shoot. Well, that's part of the reason it took me so long to get out. My truck's from a huge antifreeze leak. Antifreeze? That's what the goo puddle was? Oh, snap. I got some of that in my mouth. This disproves nothing. Little Apple, surely you saw something strange looking out there, right? Yep. Don't definitely yeah. midget, Apple. I could high-five you so bad right now. Come on, Lou. Let's leave these deniers to their denial. Um, guys? Don't look now, but... Flying Saucer! Har har. Make the crazy guys look up because they're so gullible. I was attempting to do air quotes on crazy again. Just FYI. No, really? Flying Saucer! Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby dipped in chocolate sauce. It's nice to be sure Ooh, sometimes. Flying Saucer. Uh, uh, got a big crack on that um, plate. Guys? That's definitely My head hurts. cracked up. Kind of feels like Lucy. Like Guys, maybe we should split. <laughs> yeah, good call. Does no one care that I drink copious amounts of antifreeze? <laughs> Ew. Definitely a soda. I did it! I figured out how to whistle! Ooh, that looks gorgeous. Don't definitely have to tell us this time. Log 1123. I'm approaching the planet's surface now. No signs of life. Well, 
no signs of intelligent life. <laughs> I think I ate a fly! Just incredible. Greetings, Earthling. I am Astronaut Ice Cream. Whoa! Cool helmet! Can I wear it? No. No, you cannot. It's the only thing keeping me alive from Earth. Definitely a popsicle. Yeah, I see your point. It can be pretty toxic sometimes. Believe me. <laughs> well, tell me. Are there any other, perhaps, smarter Earthlings around that I might be able to speak with? Nope! Whole this is yep, still reeling up the smartest one. Calling very right, old time. You're on. What is the mass of Jupiter? I've written the mass of Jupiter under there. Under where? <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. Of all the planets I've visited in this galaxy, this is certainly the most annoying. Ow! What other planets have you visited? Well, I've visited Venus, Mercury. Have you visited Uranus? <laughs> Yes, I've also visited a number of planets outside your solar system, including my own planet. What do you do on Let's Uranus? Let's sit on Uranus. So what if I get? <laughs> so I get? Uranus. I can see we're getting nowhere here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mission to complete. Yeah, totally understandable. It's Uranus on the line if you don't. <laughs> okay, keep it together. So keep it up this time. This incredibly stupid primitive planet in the name of Planet Dessert. What's that supposed to be? This? Oh, it's just the flag of my planet, Planet Dessert. We're conquering you. Do you have a problem with that? Well, it's just, it's a weird looking flag. Oh, our flag's weird. Well, you know what? Maybe, maybe your flag is the one that's weird, huh? Do you ever think of that? Okay, but. But what? Our planet is well, still talking ice about this so time. Apologies if it's not normal. Well, it looks like a one-eyed popsicle. You get used to the culture being imported from planet dessert. Yes, from planet dessert. No, dessert. What the heck? That's not a real Sunday, you jolt. Jeez, just when you think Earthlings couldn't be any dumber, they go and confuse a Sunday. Not really much real chocolate thing. sauce. <laughs> Still got this joy. Well, now stop the phone. What are you screaming about? I scream? You scream? We all scream for ice cream! <laughs> this is no laughing matter. The atmospheric pressure on my home planet is a thousand times that of Earth. If this visor were to break all the way through, I would get sucked out and vaporized immediately. Still wow. vaporized this it's time. Dairy, dairy, dangerous. <laughs> hmm, that sounds like yes, extremely dangerous. Now I must get back to my ship before my helmet gets wet. Have you seen my... Saucer? Yes, my flying saucer. Wow, saucer! <laughs> you like that one. Ooh, that's a good melt. <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad you came Boo. here. <laughs> my name's Orange. And my name's Pear. Which is a huge coincidence, because I just so happen to be an orange, and he's a pear. <laughs> yeah, har, har. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of How To. This week, we've got an orange-approved question from Pink Master, who wants to know how to survive an alien invasion. Yeah. I'm not sure how we're supposed to do this episode. Mm, that's definitely a master. Oh, I guess I guess I guess. Step aside, Pear. I got oodles of experience with aliens. You do? Sure. I've been abducted at least ten times. Aliens aren't alien to me. <laughs> wow, that actually explains Still like a lot. It. So the most important thing to remember is if you see an alien, don't freak out. At least not right away, anyway. <laughs> uh. Step one. Before you freak out, see if they're friendly. Lots of aliens are friendly. Much like it. Just lay back, relax, and let them shoot lasers at ya. <laughs> wait, wait, lasers? Oh yeah, a lot of lasers. And these are the friendly ones? Mm-hmm. But they're not all friendly, believe you me. Um, so what do you do if they're not friendly? What do you do? If they're not friendly, fight back with everything you got. I'm talking karate chop, TNT, kicks, punches, TNT, spinning seeds, TNT, and finally TNT. Like a disproportionate amount of TNT. Nah, it doesn't matter anyway. 
Don't get from Leah Dynamite. <laughs> Boom! I guess I'm going guessing. They'll like it. Oh man, these guys are always calling for the pink tentacles. Okay, I got the tentacles. Oh, and dunking yourself in onion juice is good too, because they kind of smell like that. I got it. So, am I safe now? Are the aliens going to kill me? One last step. Don't have to read this piece of paper out loud. Orange totally got me. Totally got you, Pear. Definitely in disguise. Are you serious? That's right definitely made. That's like definitely real. disguise. No, this was all fake. The spaceships, the aliens, the lasers. Yep. <laughs> well then, we'll see you on the tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be annoying orange in space. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. The bomb bombs and mission control. It's fun to run with the sun.